Recently, I interviewed for SD2 roles at some of the top tech companies like Google, Amazon, DoorDash, Databricks, Stripe, Uber, Rippling, and many more. Got couple of offers, got rejection from others, and learned a lot along the way. In this video series, I am going to walk you through my journey, what went well, what went wrong, and costed me the offer, my preparation strategy, my compensation insights, and a lot more. If you are preparing for SD2 role and are just trying to understand how these company hire, you are at the right place. Let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about my rippling SD2 interview experience. But before moving forward, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe because lot more interesting videos are coming up. Yeah, let's get started. So I actually reach out to one of my recruiter friend who was from the previous company. Right now he is in uh, Rippling. Yeah, actually I want to just check like is there any SD2 opening in Rippling and can you refer me for the same. And like after a couple of follow ups, uh, he replied back and the process got started at the same day. So on the same day, uh, one of their uh, colleague reached out to me regarding the process and how did the process will look like. She informed me that there will be two screening round. First will be coding round and second will be hiring manager round. So once I clear the screening round, I will go to interview loop and In interview loop. I will have three rounds, but for me, it was around five rounds. I will explain that later. And in the three rounds, it will be first will be coding round. Second will be same coding round. Third will be system design round. And the other two rounds were uh, for me was like a team matching round with the two hiring managers. Yeah. So let's start with the process. First round was coding round. So it was clearly mentioned by recruiter that in a coding round you, that you will be asked a DSA question, which will contain three parts and two criteria to qualify to the next round will be you at least have to solve two question, like two follow ups from like three parts. So I was clear around that, that in 60 minutes, I need to solve the two parts. The question that I was asked, like what was medium lead code. It was more about finding the optimal solution quickly, which included around map use and uh, maybe some array manipulation as far I remember. So this is the approach which I followed in my DSA screening round. I proposed the brute force solution for the question. Then I provided the optimal solution, checked with the interview that does it seem good for you in terms of time complexity and space complexity. Once we are both on the same page, then I coded it and run it. Same happened with the part two also. I coded and run it. But as I have 20 minutes left, so I code, I coded the third part also. And due to that reason, I received the strongest in my DSA screening itself. Now the second round was hiring manager round, which was like hiring manager screening round. Typically you are not told like what will be asked in hiring manager round, but here HR clearly informed me like what kind of questions will be asked and what you need to uh, prepare before going to the interview. So I was clear on that. In the hiring manager round, hiring manager didn't ask me any specific behavioral question. He asked me to explain one of my big project that I delivered in previous company regarding my contribution, design choices, collaboration, impact, achievement, and how the rollout strategy works. How did you test it, the frameworks and all this thing, right? So these were key pointers, like how um, they were judging on that. And that interview timing was around 60 minutes, but it exceeded to 75 minutes. I can literally see that hiring manager was imp impressed by me. He explained his stream for about 15 minutes, which was beyond the timing of our interview. So I was clear I will be actually going to the interview loop. And yeah, on the next day, I received the call from the HR that I'm going to the interview loop. And yeah, this hiring manager round actually came after the Zepto. If you would have seen my Zepto interview experience, you would can relate. I got rejected in Zepto hiring manager round and from that point I made it so strong that after Rippling and all the other companies I got selected in every hiring manager round. So if you want to know what process I followed in hiring manager round and other rounds do let me know in the comments I can make separate videos for each rounds. So the first two round of interview loop was TS round itself and it was of the same format that you will have a DSA question. It will have three parts. To qualify those round, you have to solve two parts at least. But here is the twist. Apart from DSA screening round, your level will increase a bit for your interview loop. So the questions were a little like medium hard, but again, it does not involve any DP or graph structures. Um, it was only either my array manipulation, string manipulation kind of scenarios or using the map and all that. So the main thing here is that you should be very quick with the answers, right? You should be very quick with the brute force solution, optimal solution, their time complexities. If you are not at your like optimal solution, it's likely chances that interviewer will not allow you to code because that's what they're looking that. Are you able to think of optimal solution in a quick manner or not? 
so in both the rounds i coded around uh, two and half like the, i solved the two questions i was able to explain the third part also but as time doesn't allow so i didn't solve the third part i was qualified now moving to the system design round which was the last round for the interview loop i expected it to be a medium hard but it came out to be a hard why i'm telling that because i was given a problem which was related to some kind of uh, crawling the websites and all i can't reveal the exact questions but this was like a similar one generally what happen in system design round is that you figure out the functional requirements non functional requirements with capacity estimation then basic design and then optimal design right here actually interview was majorly focusing on the schema how i am creating the tables how one table is mapping with the other table what kind of db i am selecting and i remember we had around 30 minute discussion on should we select sql or no sql so generally your selection of db is really important and we had a deep down discussion for around 30 minutes on that also one more thing it was looking for that am i providing more than one approaches for a design or not and interviewer explicitly asking that apart from this solution are you able to think about another solution for this design so this is how the things go it was it was deep dive in every part whatever i was drawing whatever i am trying to explain so you should have knowledge end to end whatever are you writing it can't be a bluff if you bluff i'm pretty sure you will get rejected quickly um, that was a thing and yeah, in this round also it was around 60 to 75 minute but it went to around 90 minutes so the discussion were very long about for the schema about your db choices about your approaches right in a brief if i would explain the system design round it was not how we'll be able to solve this question it was around why we are making this choices in this design that was i think unique for me apart from other companies interview and that i actually liked also yeah once i uh, once this interview loop was done they had debrief on their end and uh, on the i think after two days i received the call from the hr that i am selected so i was happy that uh, i got the offer because i know rippling pay really well so let's talk about the rippling pay structure so for sd2 rippling pay around base salary from 40 lakhs to 52 lakh maximum like the cash component of the pay salary and they will have a performance bonus of 15% of your base so like it's say it's a 40 lakh then it will be 6 lakh if it's a 50 then it will be 7.5 and for the more recently i came to know they removed the joining bonus also uh, from this year itself they are providing pre ipo stock which has certainly decreased in the number as compared to esops that they were generally providing earlier right now it's around 20 to 40000 uh, dollars which will be split in 40 30 20 and 10 ratios so yeah the total can go around from 60 to 75 lakh uh, depends on your competing offers how much can you negotiate and based on your experience also they increase the compensation once i was provided the compensation it's time for team matching and i came to know that the team i was interviewing already had recruited some candidate so i need to actually do hiring manager round again but it was not a hiring manager it was like we can say it's just like introduction with the new manager you can say and i had like two two hiring manager rounds so that's why my interview loop uh contains for the five round and including screening it is around seven rounds which is huge <laughs> let's talk about the preparation the resources that i used first thing i did after i got the interview call was to jot down all the problems from the lead code discuss section for the system design for the dsa rounds for the hiring manager round i can see like what type of question they are asking and uh, prepared them really well that was one of the major thing i would like to say and it really helped me in rippling interviews second thing is i prepared uh, daily i prepared lead code medium questions because they were looking for speed instead of more hard questions because you need to solve two by three of a question in a single hour so it's difficult so i have prepared the list for like system design question that i generally asked in top companies like uh, replying stripe doordash amazon and all the other companies and i prepared them thoroughly i understand the pattern between them and that actually helped me in this interview also apart from those 20 question 20 or 20 questions i actually went through system design primer uh, that is a github repo i will also link down in my description you can check it out i went through data intensive design application book that actually helped me a lot and one other book that i went through is a system design interview by alexu and i practiced those uh, 30 20 or 30 questions regularly i try to think about optimal solutions i 
try to think about more design choices on them how the db will look like how the schema will look like so more you grill on your end will it will be helpful for system design interviews because at the end system design interview can't be a fixed pattern it can go from very north to south like either you're thinking that only db schema part will be asked but you you could be asked about the kafka or any other thing like elastic search for the searching part indexing right why use postgres why can't we use cassandra and lot more questions can come so you need to actually know what are you drawing right end to end because if you go with the design that you only remember by just watching some video and all this thing it is going to backfire you so be thorough with that whatever you draw actually you actually know about that so yeah uh, that was the whole interview process of rippling do let me know in the comments if you need any other any further videos from and so yeah see you in another interview experience and uh, techmo videos scott here signing off